Ghana, down, Ghana, eh, in your game, in your game, in your game, the Rest Home Project is something which is, aims to correct a historic injustice. We're at 61 sites across New South Wales. Uh, Aboriginal communities on former missions and reserves were left to fend for themselves without the types of infrastructure that uh, the rest of us kind of take for granted. Things like curbs and guttering and street lighting and so on, the things that make it safe but also make communities able to operate. But importantly, it's done not to Aboriginal communities but by them. It's very important that they lead, they make the choices, they determine what's important for them and their families. The best thing is the, the opportunity for the community to have a say and, and do it our way and, and, and get the employment. There's also so often with, with funded programs we, we get the, the contractors from out of town in it, but right from the start, the board had said no. We want um, locals, local labourers employed in the first instance, and that has worked really well. What the project has done for our community, they've um, put down new, new bitumen roads, they've done, um, ripped up the old curb and gutterings that was here. They laid turf on the, on the, on the footpaths, um, and they, they also did um, cementing the driveways. Yeah, it was actually good, learning something, good experience, meeting new people. Yeah, it was actually quite nice. Enjoyed it actually, get out of the house. Something else different to do. We are here today to move forward, like the national symbol. No walking backwards. This is about having the right environment for kids and families to grow up in. Uh, curb and guttering, fences, good roads, uh, and and good taking away the water when it rains. You know, good gutters. You know, the simple things make a profound difference, uh, and that's what Roads to Home is all about. I think it's made the community very proud to see the end result, um, particularly around the Aboriginal employment of the local people. That's been a great bonus and also, and building skills in the community has also been um, of value to this project. It would be great for some of these participants in particular to create their own businesses and and become self-sustainable within their own communities and not having to leave, you know, to go to the bigger regions or the cities. Love it. Couldn't ask for anything better. I oh, just, the knowledge that I'm learning, like you're learning everything different every day and you can't ask for anything more. It's keeps you heading the right track in mind, keeps your mind in the right space they need to be and yeah, just keeps your head out of the gutter keeps you in the town, makes you want to stay in the town, don't make you want to move, like, yeah, you ain't pulling your air out every day, yeah, just trying to find something to do, just occupy it in your mind. Probably one of the proudest moments of my time in Roads to Home was when I drove around the corner and I did see nothing but you know Aboriginal people working on on the, the job and it was yeah that sense of pride for me as um, somebody that works in government to be able to help you know help our mob do this um, and make you know it's make their place um, what they want it to be so and that, that's something that I've, I've you know really proud of with Roads to Home. main thing for us over the next few years is to stay very focused on this program so we actually finish the job. It's been a few years in the making, as I said I've been personally involved for a good number of years. We've been through a few communities, we're doing the first 10 at the moment, but there's 60 to do. So we'll be at this for a few years. The main thing for me is to stay very focused uh, with a very professional Aboriginal team within planning industry environment who are leading the charge on actually delivering. So that's our focus at the moment and then we'll enable the economic and education and social opportunities that come from that.